Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here in the lovely world of raccoons with me, Vanilla Raccoon. hey -o! And let's just go ahead and take a look at our to-do list for this episode. Let me go ahead and throw it down on the bar, actually. So, we don't have a lot to do throughout this episode, but that's for good reason. And as you can tell, the first thing on the agenda is introduce the latest snapshot. And then we're going to showcase the library that we begun constructing in our most recent Twitch live stream. And then lastly, we're going to play with new blocks that come from Minecraft 1.12. So, upon the recording of this video, 17W06A is the latest snapshot for Minecraft 1.12 and within a few days a new snapshot is going to be released and I think it's going to have the much anticipated mob uh, that's going to be making its debut in the Minecraft and that is the parrot. Now at the moment I do not have that much knowledge of the parrot other than it can be found in jungles. Yes, you can in fact tame it and then also you can wear it on your shoulder. Another fun fact that I recently read up on this morning as I was waking up is that it will imitate any and all sounds that are made from any and all mobs within Minecraft. Now for an example, and this is nothing official, this is my own speculation, I suppose then say for example if you are if you have a parrot on your shoulder when you're mining and then a creeper were to come around then it will begin to make the sound of a creeper which I guess could act as an alarm system for you just so then it doesn't catch you off guard. So this is the medium sized village house that I begun that I have begun to transform in my most recent Twitch live stream. And I tried to keep the fantasy theme for this build, but I'm gonna leave it to you all in the comments down below to let me know if I did just that. But before we step foot within the library, I wanna go ahead and gather up the resources that I'm gonna need so I can craft the new blocks that are in this snapshot, and then we'll go ahead and play with them within the library. So I'll be right back with ya. Goodbye. I'm not entirely sure why, but I think I'm gonna call you Trevor. So, ladies and gentlemen, I now have in my inventory green hardened clay blocks, light blue hardened clay blocks, but I now also have green concrete powder and light blue concrete powder. So, if I want to make green glazed terracotta blocks what I would have to do is take my green hardened clay blocks throw them into the furnace and then begin to cook them up and then if I want to have some light blue glazed terracotta blocks then I'm going to take my light blue hardened clay blocks and throw them into the furnace as well and while we wait for those to cook up let's actually Let's go back inside real quick because I did not realize that it was getting to be dusk. Let's just go ahead and for the moment lay our head to rest and make it the day. And there we go. Was I reading this clock wrong? I think I must have read it wrong because for some reason... Wait, wait. In this snapshot, are clocks bugging out? Because that looks like it's saying it's getting to be nightfall now. Interesting. Okay, not sure, not entirely sure if that's something to report to the bug tracker, but anywho, let's go ahead and take a look at the green concrete powder. Let's just throw them down on the bar and let's grab our light blue concrete powder. So if I want to convert these into concrete blocks, all I have to do is let them touch water either by dropping them down completely into water or let a water source run by and touch one of the side faces now i'm not oh that's a little loud let's just step away from that nether portal now i'm not entirely sure if these act as gra uh, gravel slash sand blocks in the sense that they have a sense of gravity to them so i'm just gonna place it on this side of the oak leaf and yes, they do have gravity. Okay, that's fairly interesting to know. That's good to know, I should say. But as you can tell, now our concrete powder has turned into concrete, which I guess is a form of realism if you want to go that route. But now, in order to mine them up, all I have to do is grab my pickaxe, whereas if I wanted to mine them up as they are in their concrete powder form, I would just have to go ahead and grab... Uh, 
take my shovel or a spade, whatever you want to call it, and mine them up that way. But I'm not entirely ready to step foot within the library quite yet and show you all what I did. And that's only because I'm awaiting... Oh... Ooh, uh, look at these. Ooh, I'm happy. I'm eagerly uh, waiting now to step foot within the library so I can begin to play with these on camera with you all. So let me just go ahead and finish gathering up a few more glazed terracotta blocks, and I'll be right back with you so we can begin to play with our new toys. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you have all been waiting for has finally come, and we are about to step foot inside the library. But before we go ahead and do so, I want to just take this time to quickly show you all how you can go about creating concrete powder because I completely forgot to do so in the previous segment, so please forgive me. Now as you just saw, I created a diamond shape with the sand and then in the corners, I'm going to place down gravel and then in the center, I'm going to place a single die and that is how you go about creating concrete powder. Now, I do not know if this is the quote unquote official slash only way you can go about doing so. I suppose we could test this now on camera since we're here. So why don't we go ahead and take our sand and place it in the corner just like that. We're going to take our gravel, place it going across the top and down the side and then, ooh, okay, so there is no specific way in which you can create the concrete powder. Alright, that's good to know. Well, at least for my own sanity, I'm going to go ahead and continue to create my concrete powder by creating a diamond with the sand and then uh, filling in the corners with gravel and then in the center placing down the die that I want to use. So let's go ahead and with the flick of a button we can go ahead and enter the library and now let's enter theater mode so we can have a clean screen while we look around the place and right here we have an open vacant spot and that's where I'm going to be placing Remy, the only librarian that we have in this village. And as we continue to look around, I try to utilize both carpets and wool blocks because that is something that I really don't do that often. But with this new season here in the lovely world of raccoons, I thought I would go ahead and step out of my comfort zone by use, utilizing those two pieces of decoration. Now, this is my enchanting area, and I would like to say that it is inspired by something that I had seen in Minecraft Story Mode back when I was live streaming that over on the Twitch, and I would like to continue to stream Minecraft Story Mode, however, there hasn't been that much of a demand for me to continue that, so I'll leave it up to you all in the comments down below to let me know if you want me to continue to stream Minecraft Story Mode or tweet it at me over on Twitter saying, Van, give us more Minecraft Story Mode for streams, and I'll make it so. But if we go ahead and take a step up here now, this, this was a little interesting to make because originally I wanted to have more of an open space right here so that we could, in theory, peek down at the enchanting station, but we really can't do so even with the use of our trap doors, but hey, at least if we were to step back down here and we look up, we can at least say, Hey, you up there, even though there's no one there at the moment, but if we just use something called our imagination, we can go ahead and pretend that there is. Now, I was going to place a leaf block right here, but considering that we are now in a 1.12 snapshot, I don't have Optifine and I don't think I can have the leaves be transparent, whereas I think that's only an Optifine feature. So um, for now, at least I'm going to leave this little space open. I'm not going to worry about placing a leaf block right now because I like my leaves to be transparent. I don't want them to be opaque. I think that's the word to use. But then right here, we have a little more open space. And this is where I'm going to be throwing down some chests so that I can go ahead and... Uh, store any books that I may not want to use. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to tear up the floor that we have right here and I'm going to begin to use the glazed terracotta blocks. However, I think I'm going to use the green glazed terracotta blocks, at least for on camera. This is what I'm going to be using. So why don't we go ahead and actually get our pickaxe down on the bar and then let's swap the green glazed terracotta blocks with our shield and our offhand. So these blocks are very interesting to use in the sense that as you can tell 
they have a sense of direction to them. And if I went ahead and just continued to look forward and placed them down like this, we wouldn't be able to get that nice looking ring shape that we have from utilizing them. And I think what I'm going to do now off camera is I'm just going to continue to tinker around with these new blocks and try and come up with a interesting looking floor pattern that we can have for the library and then I'll bring it back when I have something fairly interesting to show you all, at least in my opinion. I'm so glad that I decided to mine up all of the clay within the swamp that is just beside our village here because glazed terracotta blocks, at least in my opinion, can be quite expensive, especially when you have a grand idea for a floor or even if you want to use them for ceiling pieces or establishing some type of mural for a build or whatever the case may be for a structure but nevertheless i think i created something that looks fairly interesting so once again with a flick of a button let's go ahead and enter the library and enter theater mode so we can have a clean screen now i'm utilizing uh, all of the uh gla glazed terracotta blocks i want to say harden glazed tiles but that's from the division smp and this is the lovely world of raccoons boy that's going to be hard to uh get uh, hammered into my head to remember to say but i went ahead and utilized all of the glazed terracotta blocks that i had in my inventory within the past few segments of this episode and i think i at least created something fairly vibrant and uh, pretty interesting. Now the reason why I only laid down those blocks on this side of the library is because when I was constructing, the, well I can't say constructing, when I was renovating this medium sized village house into a library, I wanted to create something that would resemble a small cafe because the inspiration for this library was coming from the bookstore that I have near me, which is Barnes & Noble, and although there is another type of bookstore near me called Borders, it's been a hot minute since I stepped foot inside that bookstore, but Barnes & Noble is one that I visit pretty often, I'd say so myself. But from what I have seen at least in every Barnes & Noble that I step foot in, they at least have a designated section of it to be a cafe. So I wanted it to be like if I came over here and did some enchanting, but then I wanted to have a bite to eat along with something to drink, then I could go ahead and just do so and then pull up in one of the seats right here and then stare out the window and in this particular case look off into the distance and watch the sunset. But unfortunately ladies and gentlemen that is going to do it for this episode. Like I said at the beginning we didn't have a lot to do on our to-do on our to-do list but I at least wanted to go ahead and begin to record this video and thankfully in the nick of time I'm able to do so where I can begin to edit it and hopefully get this video out to you all during the beginning of prime time here in the states uh, which is 1800 Eastern Standard Time. For those of you who don't follow military time, that would be 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But thank you all ever so much for tuning in. And remember, if you enjoyed this episode, then leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, then I invite you to check out the rest of it. But don't forget to turn on notifications when subscribing. That way you will then be notified when future Minecraft and other gameplay content is uploaded by yours truly, Vanilla Raccoon. But I'd like to wish you all a happy day and peace out.